Hello there, man. I'm here. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Vanilla Plus on the Turtle War server. And I'm still leveling here until I'm level up. That was a pretty good experience point, so I'll do this. And yeah, I'm building a raid group for my paladin. Uh, let me check. Yeah. I got armor smithing and mining, and this is the date the guild was founded. And yeah. Since I'm going skiing soon, or maybe already am, depending on when this episode is getting released, I kind of lost track now. Um, I. I'm looking for people to join the raid group, but the uh, first raid day is 13th of April. And we are still only missing one heal and a few DPS for that. If you're playing on that server, uh, we have uh, a few extra rules like uh, to make this a little bit more challenging and social. One is no random raiding, we don't need that. I don't want anyone to go random raiding and equip themselves ahead and that's just not necessary, we get, we get there and uh, I'll keep track, basically the idea is I'll ask the people what's, the, what's basically their wished, wish list of items, if they don't have any idea I'll just suggest a few things as far as I know or just ask someone else some who's playing that class what's the wish list from, from that area and then once we hit, hit like uh, 60 or 70 percent of that wish list uh, gotten right so looted I'll, I'd say we try the next raid tier but for the beginning yeah we, we probably will try, try as much as possible anyways because um, yeah the raid time is enough Saturdays 11 a.m. West Coast CS or 7 p.m. German time and then up to five hours. That's it With well, obviously a bit a little bit of a break in between because free locating and stuff but yeah Loot will probably be soft reserve plus like if you have an item on soft reserve and you didn't get it like the like five times you can have you have a bonus roll on that, so it's more likely that you get it. Something like that. And then I want to the second raid rule is basically no enchantments, craftables or potions, elixirs, I'm pretty sure the same that we as the raid group can craft, so uh, I'm got, I got armor smithing, I'm working on that, we got someone going for axe smithing we have an alchemist we are missing still tailoring enchanting basically element leather, yeah, leather working we got well, I'm not sure how this works, but yeah once I'm back from skiing I'll work on that and set it up um, in a google doc where we where I put in what everyone can craft and stuff like that already, like so we can actually have a overview of what's going on in that regard without having to ask around. It's just click on that in the Discord, then see what's going on there and see how you get it. And same with the head and back enchantment. This one is already done. The list of all available ones in the game, and then I've basically got put down all the information and links how you get that and this will help a lot and the same I'll do with the shoulder enchantment and then the leg uh, the, the belt buckle from Paladin so I'll probably do a segment of enchantments and stuff and then the segment of no that's that's bad Let, let's just do it like the professions and, and I'll just um, yeah, I'll, I'll, start, I'll do those tabs like the professions, the head, head leg enchantment is one tab, shoulder enchantment is one tab, um, one sheet basically. Uh, blacksmithing is going to be one tab, one sheet, and at the top of that I'll, 
highlight basically the, the enchantments with the belt buckle. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I'm actually going fast here with this experience gain here. I mean, yeah, this is pretty similar to that spot where I was out with my paladin, but instead of insects, it's beasts. And I can skin them all. Yeah, I could more or less go... I, th this spot, currently with, the, with those 47 wolves, I can take this to level 59, technically. And it's not even that slow, because, yeah, um... It's not slow and steady. But, yeah, the 47s will be great, 59, and then I'll need to f go further northwest. And then there are no 47s anymore. Technically, that's doable. I'm not sure if I want to do this, by the way. One one nine is the attack speed. That's that's extreme. A third of the attack speed was gone. Okay. Yeah, a little bit, little, little bit more. <clears throat> that was 30 percent more dps that's bad i mean in terms of how strong this is just like this with the attack speed it's 30 percent more melee hits that's crazy a third more heli melee hits am i correct about that or is it 50? No, it's more like 50% more melee hits, right? Because okay, so instead of um, doing one hit in 1.8 seconds, I'm doing one and a half. Yeah, it's 50% it's more. Deep. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully this one it doesn't exist in, in the raid. But you have other options to buff your haste. Uh, there's alchemy one thing in there. I think that was from Nice Lex. Uh, yeah, five percent haste. That's from uh, Karazhan, I think. Seems like a pretty decent one for DPS. It's on use, obviously. It's a short use time, but. Obviously, if you're melee DPS, what what other use options do you, do you have a heal pot? So if you go for this and you have 30%, 30 seconds, like 5% more haste, I think that's strong. You can simply just use those then as on use and have the, all, all the other potions on there too. And then you're just probably escalating pretty deep. It, I think those are pretty useful for the finishing phases of bosses. To stretch it a little bit more. Obviously in the beginning doubt, I doubt that this will be useful and needed. But yeah, maybe for the first runs of each... For first first actual boss kills on Molten Core and stuff like that. We might be okay to use that later on. If we get the recipe. That's the issue. Requires swift swiftness potion, yeah, no worries about that. Those aren't too difficult to craft. Silver Sage, that's probably the issue. Maybe I'll go and get the collection professions on this char later on. Just so I can help like that. It should be probably useful, yeah. Because I'm a paladin, I'm, I got... Um, Armor, uh, mining and blacksmithing, armor smithing. So definitely don't have any room for other professions like that then. Because you know, I need the ingredients for the, all those legendaries and stuff and I kind of want to collect them myself, but buy them. So yeah.
But yeah, once I'm back from skiing, I'll just catch up all those things that I missed, like Minecraft. I uh, those daily uploads. I have to stop that. It's just taking too long, and I'll do that then to a to a day until I'm I caught up. Everything else, yeah. On the drone channel, everything else that's that I slowed down will just whatever be a break. Mm, whatever, I use the heal potion. That's the place pretty decent the experience scan here. But yeah, I got to heal myself pretty often here. But I still have some some uh match with uh bandages and some normal match with ready to craft some so it's not that bad. How far am I? 260, yeah, I could use the runecraft bandage just now. I could craft them, not use, yeah. But I don't do that. I think I'll just push you with, with those as far as I can. Because, yeah, that's, and until I'm level 60, this is the best way to basically get some money if I'm not just using those. Which I probably will just. Yeah, 1000 life points healed. Perfect, let's continue. And yeah, level 50, I hope I get that enrage or what it, however it's called, this, this extra energy regen cooldown. And then I'll go back questing. Maybe some elites in Stormthorn Vale, maybe not. This is still hardcore mode, so somewhat safe got to stay somewhat safe especially now that i'm level 50. Hey, let's use a heal pot again. Still have enough. Don't care. I think I have 20 on the bank. A beast slaying is very useful on that. As an enchantment on those. That's the best beast slaying, by the way, there is. So, that is six extra damage against beast. Oh, let's just use this.
yeah looks good i'll be level up next time thanks for watching see you next time